The iPhone 15 Pro Max is great, but are the new camera features really that good? Does the phone still heat up like crazy? And is there really that much of a difference between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max? Well, today we're gonna find out and I'm gonna bring you along on a full day in my life using the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hey guys, and welcome to a day in the life with the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've had this iPhone for about, give or take a month now, probably a little bit over a month, and I absolutely love it. And today I'm gonna to be running you through a full day in my life with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're gonna be talking cameras, performance, battery life, you name it, it's gonna be in this video. So we do have quite an interesting day ahead of us. We're gonna be heading to, well, first of all, we're gonna be checking out of this Airbnb, then heading over to the airport, picking up a car, going on a little road trip with some friends, but first things first, we need to get breakfast. It is currently 8.27 in the a.m. here in Lisbon. I'm starving, and uh, while the rain is hopefully slowly but surely wrapping up, so hopefully I won't get too wet, we should take advantage of it, and uh, yeah, go get breakfast. So let's go eat. Honestly, one of the nicest things about every iPhone update is the camera improvements. I'll be deep diving into the photo and video quality later on in this video, but having an incredible camera in your pocket to take everywhere with you is an absolute game changer. sorted. We've got peanut butter toast, juices, we've got two yogurts, and to top it all off, a cheeky little banana. I'm just going to be sitting here for the next uh, little bit, getting some work done, which is great. And I just wanted to touch on uh, my iPhone battery situation. It is 10 to 9, we have 92%, but I did kind of have a little bit of a hiccup, maybe not a mistake, but I had a, uh, a FaceTime call just as soon as I woke up this morning that I couldn't really film. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucked the battery down just a little bit, but for 92%, 10 to 9, I've been up since 7 o'clock, I think. I think the battery life's doing well. So anyway, I'm going to sit here, eat, and get a little bit of work done. I'm actually applying for a Kenyan visa, which is crazy to say. I never thought I'd go to Kenya, but... Here we are, I have, a, uh, I have a job out there in two weeks, which is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get that done, then tidy up this Airbnb, we'll continue on with our day. While I'm packing up this Airbnb, I wanted to show you one of the biggest changes to the iPhone this year, which is ProRes Log. Not everyone is gonna be using this and I wouldn't recommend everyone to use this, but if you're looking to step up your video game at all, you're gonna to wanna to check this out. Being able to shoot in log gives you a much less processed version of the video you're shooting, so it's gonna come out looking a little like this. You can then color grade it to bring life back into the shot, and the reason this is so powerful is because you get to control exactly how you bring life back into the shot. The flexibility, control, and ways you can manipulate iPhone log footage is incredible. And I've been shooting more iPhone log than I'd like to admit, leaving some pretty serious camera gear behind and just running around with my phone. If you're shooting in log and you like the way my footage looks, I've just released my brand new iPhone log conversion LUTs, which you can find linked below. Just a quick test of the iPhone front-facing camera. What's the autofocus like? Back to me, back to me. I think it's great, to be honest with you, I couldn't tell you the last time Apple made a bad front-facing camera. The interesting test here though, is that dynamic range. I've got the sun on my back, so <clears throat> if it looks good, great. I think it looks all right in the camera, but uh, yeah, we're on our way to get some Portuguese tarts now. I'm in love with them. In love with them a little bit too much. Thank you. 
After demolishing what felt like my 31st Portuguese tart in the space of four days, I was walking around the gorgeous streets waiting for my friends to get ready before we went to pick up our car. While I was out here, I snapped a few photos and let me tell you, the camera is no joke on this phone. The biggest upgrade this year to the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the five times telephoto lens. This lens is equivalent to 120 millimeters on a full frame camera and can open so many doors for creative compositions. I made a complete street photography video here here in Lisbon last week. So if you wanna check that out, you can do so on screen now, but for the time being, here are just a few of my favorite shots. We then picked up lunch and made our way over to our car and we were off to the Algarve. The iPhone 15 Pro Max was using Apple CarPlay for our entire drive with Waze and Spotify open. I'm not charging the phone at all today so we can get a really good idea of how the battery performs six weeks into having the phone on a heavy use day. At this point, I was expecting the phone to begin heating up. While Waze and Spotify were open and running in the background, my friend Jimmy was shooting 4K video at the same time and never once did the iPhone get warm, which is a very, very good sign. All right, so we just got to the beautiful Algarve coast and I've never been down here. I've seen so many photos of this place and to be honest with you, this just blows away expectations. We didn't get the conditions that we were after, but anyway, we had about a three hour drive to get down here. The iPhone 14, no, the iPhone 15 Pro has done an absolute stellar job of getting us down here. It's currently 5.30 and we are sitting at 45% battery, which to be honest with you is fairly decent. So we're about to take some photos take some videos, you name it. We've got Jimmy and Elsa just back there and uh, enjoy the sunset and sign the day off. The conditions at sunset were far from ideal, so we jumped back into the car and headed into town for dinner. It began pouring down on the way to this lovely little Indian restaurant where we wrapped up the day and then made our way back to our Airbnb. After shooting about 65% of this video on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, getting three FaceTime calls in, using Spotify and Waze through Apple CarPlay, using Bolt for taxis around Lisbon and other general stuff just throughout the day, we wrapped up at 30% battery life. While I'm trying to use my phone less and less these days, it's great to see that even on a heavy day of use, this phone crushed it. To me, it seems like the iPhone 15 Pro Max is by far the best phone Apple is making and could possibly be the best phone on the market. It's going to be my daily phone for the next 12 months and could be for even longer. With a great camera system, incredible battery and performance, more could you want or need out of a phone? With that said though, if you have a 14 or 13 series iPhone, I really don't think the average user is going to need this upgrade at all. Even from the 12 or 11 series, it's an upgrade sure, but chances are you really don't need it. For me, it's an absolute absolute no-brainer upgrade being able to shoot in log and being able to shoot with the five times lens for what I do for work. But apart from that, not much has changed. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.